Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kelber Space Program. So in this video I'll be going over a few problems I had with docking and, you know, I'm just going to be showing my adventure of docking. Yeah. So this rocket here is mainly for the the main body of the space station that I'm working on. Now, I already have the other half of the body in space. It's orbiting Kerbin already. And essentially, this one's going to connect to it. Now, when I first started uh, started this rocket up, I noticed it was overheating. So that was unexpected. Doesn't that doesn't always happen? The overheating, but I think it's because it was really heavy. It did that. So. Getting high in orbit. I did add some winglets just for extra control. I don't want to have to use all the RCS. And I'm not sure, but did they like extend the amount of RCS you can use? Because I was using RCS like crazy for docking and it didn't waste. So that was surprising. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the separation point. It looks pretty cool. And there's a problem with the junk. For some reason, the, all the space junk was white a white blur and I had to manually remove them and how I did that was um, what was it tracking station I had to go there select the part and click X so that was annoying and there was some on the planet as well which I had to manually remove I don't know if that's a glitch but see that white it's like a snowball there that's the damaged parts and yeah this is this time forwarded ahead I skipped it skip quite a few things which was like a couple hours worth and I don't really want to fast forward that it won't be good quality so yeah I end up having so many problems with with docking I never thought of that right I should have had one ship not moving at all and then the other one moving of course but then you know you had to adjust both ships correctly to match and I did that eventually but it was a problem. A problem occurred. And I'll show you that in a second. When it does happen. So yeah, we're pretty close to that. And then look, we just pass it. How ridiculous. And then there's me trying to move back. And then I gain control of the other one. The other piece. <laughs> uh, and if you, if you guys are questioning me about the name... I named it Bode, B-O-D-A-Y, instead of B-O-D-Y. Yes, that was like a typo when I was doing it. I wasn't thinking, but it sounds like a better name to me, so I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm probably going to call this like the Heretic International Space Station. I don't really know. So yeah, there's, we're getting closer. Closer, closer. And then... As you can see, when you change ships, they totally they have a totally different position. And I was starting to get fed up too, it wasn't working. You have to get orbits perfectly and... Come on, match, match, match! See that magnetism was a huge problem. And I think you have to turn off your SAS, RCS, when you are like, when you're hooked on, like magnetically now right there I think it tried to hook on but then it just flew away how nice eh and then every time you change ships you have to uh, select the target continuously that's another problem <clears throat> so there's a perfect position and you can see on the nav ball there's um there's this pink pink like circle that's that's the target and there it should have it should have connected right there but then it's hook it's hooking on so then I turn off um, advanced SAS it's going it's a long aircraft it takes a while because look at that how wobbly so if you want to go to another planet and you have a huge ship you're gonna struggle connecting docking the ship yeah, so there's the docking there, and uh, if you want to uh, move fuel left to right, you basically just hold down 
alt and right click your fuel tanks and you click out or in and then if you want to stop and you can do that with RCS too so that was nice I didn't know you could do it with RCS so it's really really useful and I wasted quite a bit there so thanks for watching guys and have a nice day Thank you.